Now, even though our daily numbers in Nueces County dropped a bit today, local researchers say Nueces County is still leading all the other metropolitan areas in Texas in the per capita infection rate. Our Taylor Adonis has the highlights from today's city county health briefing at City Hall. We here in Corpus Christi, Nueces, Portland, and Aransas together are number one in terms of the average number of new cases per day per capita. Up until the past week, coronavirus hospitalizations in Nueces County were around 30 people. The 185 people currently in the hospital is the highest number to date, and the daily increases are putting tremendous pressure on our local hospitals. The way these recoveries work is that um, after 14 days, if you're not hospitalized, you're considered recovered. Dr. Chris Bird says the increases in COVID-19 cases really started in May, but the surge came in June. Researchers expecting to see 500 cases reported per day in Nueces County by Sunday. We can trace this back down to the beginning at uh, uh, May 22nd at about Open Texas Phase 2 or Memorial Day weekend. When that was put into place from that point forward, uh, we've been on this slow trajectory um, of, of increase at first, which has you know, rapidly increased from then. Experts agree the latest orders issued by both Governor Greg Abbott and County Judge Barbara Canales mandating face coverings and limiting large gatherings is the best way to stop the spread of the virus. While they agree the measures are helpful, they caution the orders will only be effective if people take it seriously. The COVID emergency that we have you know, been experiencing really uh, planning, preparing in March, April, and now unfortunately we're seeing a tremendous surge that really is not sustainable if you the public can't help us out. When you go to the store, if there's 25 to 50 people in the store, there's gonna be on average at least one person in there that actually has COVID-19. So don't chance it with your mask. You need the mask almost every place that you're going. Dr. Bird says that's why it's important for people and local businesses to follow CDC guidelines. COVID-19 is bad for business. Crushing the curve, good for business. So no shirt, no mask, no service. Taylor Alanis, 3 News.